50 schizo rants, balls deep, watching as normies, Ryuji freak, we're cringe pilled and schizo posting friends, let's stay comfy and gaming till the end, while the world stays alight, we're relaxing with on holes tight, as burn loot and murder runs rampant, we're green texting about some tangent, no matter how crazy the world gets, we will never forgive, we will never forget. Thanks for all the fun we've had so far. Autism and cringe, my guiding star. 107 subs and counting, we're doing it live. No more doubting. Nailed it, boys. Nailed it. Yeah, I, if you were expecting things not to be cringy, you're you're at the wrong place. We both know you're at the wrong place if you weren't expecting some cringe content today, especially on the 50th Schizo Rant. Been doing this now for 50 days straight, and I'm going to keep trucking. Still plenty of content, but this, this sadly is going to be the recap episode. Th this has to be the point at which I go over some basic philosophy tenets that I've been thinking about been trying to organize in my head and put it all together in something that at least attempts to make coherent sense. Now obviously it probably doesn't, but one can hope, right? One can hope. So let's start off the top with something that I consider a few universal truths. One, minimalism is the way forward, uh, especially for men and especially white men going forward. Minimalism is going to be one of your best friends. Divorce yourself from the need for material goods and divorce yourself from getting dopamine from purchasing things. Like, just look at this beautiful sunrise. It's 6 a.m. right now, and I am just baked by the sun as it comes up through my window. I decided not to sleep. It happens sometimes, but it is what it are. And then let's continue. So point number one. Also, apply minimalism to your diet. Uh, start only eating things you prepare yourself from base ingredients that you get, and then combine them. That's, that's something you're going to want to do. Secondly, no matter how you want to call it, there is an unmoved mover. There is an uncreated creator out there, just logically speaking, and whatever you want to call that force. You could call it God. You could call it you know the God particle or something else like that. There is something out there that set things into motion be it you know some scientist somewhere that started our simulation or what have you there is an unmoved mover and that creator is also very indifferent to everything including your suffering including anything else you might think so it's certainly not like a judeo-christian entity at least logically thus far but there is some sort of force or something that's an unmoved mover so there's something that exists beyond the uh, basic laws of physics. Secondly, all violence is bad, just period, and this includes eating meat. Meat is by definition murder, uh, no matter how you want to go about it. I'm actually working on becoming a vegetarian now. I'm eating through the last stockpiles of my meat supplies, and then I'm getting my protein strictly from whey, I think. And then I'm probably converting to full-on vegetarian uh, shortly. That's just on the menu. Like I've come to the conclusion that any and all violence is bad, no matter what, and embracing violence is bad, period. This includes things like abortion. It's logically consistent throughout all tiers of society. Killing an unborn child is wrong because killing you know, a chicken is wrong because killing anything is wrong. And this obviously doesn't apply to like plants, like for instance, things that fall out of your hair, like human hair, which is dead when it's out of your body, you know, eating that is not murder, although why would you want to eat that, you sick pervert, but just flat out, any sort of violence is just wrong, period, and that includes abortion, it includes meat. Secondly, I've decided on the natalism issue after considering it for a long, long time and thinking about it and trying to come to terms with it is I am now firmly on the anti-natalist position. I don't believe people should reproduce, just period. I think the world population, the WF, again, broken clock strikes, you know, X amount of time, or broken clock is right twice a day. The WEF is correct. The current population needs to decrease just because you're decreasing the total suffering in the world if you decrease the total amount of people. That's just factually true. Existence 
uh, the price we pay for existence is suffering, uh, you know, core Buddhist tenet, very basic and very true, another universal truth, just like violence bad, very, very co controversial truth, but the implications of violence being bad are, for instance, are what's, are, are uh, what is controversial here, the fact that meat should not be consumed, animals should not be killed for our enjoyment, two children should not be killed for our enjoyment, you know, logically consistent all the way through, a universal truth that we in the present age have forgotten or have chosen to ignore. And just as in bringing more suffering into the world by bringing more children into the world is fundamentally wrong, period. There is no justification for intentionally increasing the world's suffering like that. No matter how you want to phrase it, it is just factually incorrect and you shouldn't be doing it. Uh, so, no, no more human beings. Natalism is incorrect. Racism uh, is a perfectly natural and normal response to the world. You genetically evolved racism and you should embrace it, just period. Anyone who says otherwise is brainwashed. That is perfectly healthy and normal. And I don't really know what else to say about it since we're on YouTube, but racism good, violence bad. Those are just factually true. Natalism bad, no more babies, no more marriage, no more anything. Just, you know, these are just fundamental truths. And mental health. Uh, there is no such thing as mental health. Uh, the world is just a fallen world. It's a corrupt world, and the proper reaction to the current world state is to go insane, period. There, you know, people have created a problem and then are trying to sell you a cure with all the medications and all the therapy, etc. Therapy doesn't work. Therapists aren't real. This is all just a fox created industry, or a fo faux created industry. I can't pronounce the word. Faux created industry that's meant to milk people out of their resources, again, and exchange currency for dopamine, which is not something you should do. Therapists don't really care about you. The people making the drugs do not care about you. They're selling it to you all because you are gullible, period. The world is corrupt and needs to be remade. And a human being is the sum total of their failures. Everyone hates themselves, period. You as a human being exist because you are a series of mistakes. And through those mistakes, you've managed to accumulate enough knowledge to not immediately die which is more than most people can say about themselves, but that is the reality of the situation. And if you analyze yourself in any other way, you are just factually incorrect or suffering from Dunning-Kruger. Totalitarian, totalitarian governments are fueled by lies and only exist through lies. And in our society in the West, we have created a series of lies that you are forced to repeat to continue to increase totalitarian governments. Men cannot be women. Abortion is murder. Meat is murder. Uh, there are a number of other things that are currently lies that are repeated a lot that I cannot touch upon as much as I would like to because of the platform we're on. I'm probably going to start posting more videos on Gab or more free speech oriented platforms in the future to be able to express these ideas fully. But for now, just understand that, you know, one of the biggest things we've learned from Alexander Solzhenitsyn's The Gulag Archipelago is that lies are what govern or what create totalitarian governments and when people start telling lies and people start believing and accepting lies and people consistently repeat things they know are not true instinctually just because of society that is when your society is dead and America is a dead and decaying society we have hit full totalitarian mode and we're just waiting for our great leader to come take hold now what shape that great leader will be is anyone's guess but it's on the menu, boys. We are going full totalitarian in the United States, and it will happen within your lifetimes, probably within a short amount of time, given how fast we're ratcheting towards totalitarian uh, escapism. And again, just to reiterate, men cannot be women. Abortion is murder. Burn loop murder, etc. George Floyd did not die from a knee on his neck. Uh, what other ones? Just just in the last couple of years. We can talk about 2022 being the same as 2020, or I mean, we can talk about 2020 being the same as 2022, being the same as the year 2000. You know, Jeb Bush is a nice guy and definitely didn't do anything wrong. And if you need more elaboration than that, you're going to have to Google it or, you know, maybe contact me on a free speech platform because this isn't it. But yeah, 
So this is the 50th schizo rant. I thought I would just reiterate some things, go over it so you understand my general philosophy. And that was autistic. I hope you enjoyed, friends. I like writing poems, too. Let me know if I should write more poems. Either way, peace. I'm enjoying my morning. I hope you are, too.